Back on the broadcast the Brewers and Cubs no score we go to the top of the fifth inning from Wrigley Field and some sad news to tell you about in the Brewers organization George Boomer Scott passed away today he was a gold glove winning first baseman and all star for the Milwaukee Brewers in the early 70s and a teammate of Jerry Augustine's this came somewhat unexpected today Jerry yeah it did you know anytime you lose a teammate you brings back a lot of great memories and George Scott was one of those guys that made the game fun for every player and every teammate because he enjoyed the game that much. He's a great teammate and my fondest, fondest memories is the year that he tied Reggie Jackson for the home run championship. Each and every day in the month of September, he got on the bus, we'd ask him, did you talk to Reggie today? He'd always come back with something very special. He was a big guy, but he could also hit the home runs. And then the gold gloves though, he had eight gold gloves in his career. Five of those came with the Brewers. He could really pick it over at first. Oh, he was phenomenal. He said, that, just get the ball to me, I'll catch it. And he, that's what he did. He was very good at first base. He covered a lot of ground, and I'll tell you what, very good at uh, catching pop-ups, going back off of second base in the right field, fall territory. Very good at that. Could catch everything that came to him. He was a vacuum cleaner when he talked about catching the baseball. George Scott passing away at age 69 today. Guys, take it away. It's a sad story. Greenville, Mississippi was uh, the location of his passing and uh, George Scott Augie was telling some great stories about the boomer on the way to the ballpark. One of my favorites is uh, you know they'd say to George Scott did you hit a homer today because I don't hit homers I hit taters I hit taters <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's sad ending to yeah. uh, uh -huh. a post playing life that you know wasn't great for boomer Scott but what a fantastic player he was and. You think about those gold gloves Craig mentioned he had five in a row as a Milwaukee Brewer part of that Cecil Cooper trade he ended up with the Red Sox you know the Brewers have not had a gold glove winner since 82 when Robin Young won the gold glove as a shortstop. Carlos Gomez has a chance to win a gold glove this year and it has been nice thinking about Gomez winning a gold glove because it does bring George Scott back into the discussion once again because he won five in a row here. Yeah, one of those guys uh, on the early days of the Brewers back in the early 70s that put the team on the map. Tommy Harper another guy that was in that group. Boomer Scott. Ken Sanders those kind of guys.